what are you going to do if you're not a Harmon Brothers, if you're not a big business, if you're you know, a restaurant trying to make it or an ad agency trying to make it? This is kind of a formula that I've come up with to allow me to create nine videos, roughly about a hundred bucks a piece. You know, anybody who is good at creating any type of video always starts with a script. And that allows you to have, like you said, you know, that one ad, that one message. And then you can create a bunch of other variations of that ad so that you can kind of um, <clears throat> appeal to different, you know, to the pleasures, to the frustrations, uh, to people who like a talking head video versus people who like a doodle video. But it's all still the same message. And that's important because it, we know that we need to be split testing. We know that we need to have one message, try it, and then be able to mold it as we go to get a little better, a little better, a little better as we go along. So I like to start with one script. And then I also like to have um, two other pieces of the script. So you have like your intro and your outro, but then you have your body of the script. And that allows you to kind of make it look like you have multiple scripts, but you have just, you have the same script with a few different ways of starting and ending it when you do that. So if you take these three, you know, if you have um, two intros, two outros, okay, that's going to give you three different scripts yep. that you can use. Even though you're still using the same message, you're hitting the same hot buttons, you're hitting the same frustrations, all that stuff, it's going to allow you to look like you have three different messages. Then you're going to take a couple different modalities, okay? When I say modalities, I mean like kind of visually what you're, what you're looking at. So I like to have one that's a doodle version, one that's a talking head version, and then um, I like just a, a text like an old VSL that's working okay. really well for me. Just a very simple VSL style. It's just plain screen with words. Yeah. You know, my grandmother, my grandmother calls them them videos that read to you. <laughs> she don't, she don't know what a VSL is, but I mean, she loves them. Uh, she's like, yeah, I love them videos that read to you. So yeah, those are, so, so if you have kind of three scripts because you have those intros and outros, and then you have three different visual styles. Now you can create nine video creatives all on the same message, right. which allows you to kind of, um, you know, the algorithms today. I, I come from the old school way where like you just have that one ad and you just let that thing run forever. Right. And you can still kind of make that work on display but on a lot of the newer things, and not that YouTube's newer, but like YouTube and Facebook are really trying to lead the way, uh, Instagram as well. And so they're very algorithm driven. We're seeing it come into Google as well. And the algorithm wants lots of creative. Yep. You know, yep. And, and so you got to feed it. But then we as direct response marketers uh, and also small businesses, let's be honest, you know, video is expensive to create. We're not creating text ads, you know, video, even if you're doing it yourself and you learn how to do all the editing and all that stuff, it's still expensive in time. Yeah. You know, and so, so we as direct response marketers know that we need to be testing like one message and refining it until it's perfect. And then as small business owners, we know we need to, you know, manage our costs. We can't just go whip up a Harmon Brothers video nine times. You know, I love those guys, but <laughs> what they do is a very special thing that they do. It's a hundred grand to a million dollars to get a video produced by them now. So it's right. It, it and, and that's, they're amazing, but you yeah. can't just whip nine of them up. Right. So what are you going to do if you're not a Harmon Brothers, if you're not a big business, if you're you know, a restaurant trying to make it or an ad agency trying to make it? This is kind of a formula that I've come up with to allow me to create nine videos, roughly about 100 bucks a piece.
you know, depending on time, labor, how much your guy costs you versus my guy, whatever. It, it's pretty cheap. You can get these videos created between 100 and 250 bucks. So here you go. You start with one script. You're going to want an outro and an, in, uh, and sorry, intro and an outro on there. So you might have one intro that leads in with humor. You might have one intro that leads in with the classic stop. If you're having this problem, you know, I've seen your, I've seen your stop at. Um, and then you might have one that leads in with a little bit of controversy or a pattern interrupt or something like that. You know, uh, there was an old VSL that made millions and millions of dollars. And the way that it started was, this is a goldfish. If you don't want to be like this goldfish or something like that, I forget what they said, but it was like, it's so weird. It's a pattern interrupt. You know, they say, this is a goldfish. You want to hear the next sentence. Right. You know, so why are you showing me? A, you know, you, it could be anything. This Something is a super random. Yeah, out of the yeah, blue, this, it doesn't fit in. Right. This is a mailbox. You know, uh, you know, whatever. And then you're going to connect your story to that weird thing. So a mailbox could be like, would you like to receive checks in the mail? You know, uh, you know, whatever. So, anyways, you have these three different. You write your one script, and you're going to want your script to match up to your sales page, you know, you know, I'm not saying take your whole sales page and put in a script because these videos, I find these videos should be about 90 seconds long. And if you're doing it right, then you have about 30 seconds to talk about the problem, about 30 seconds to agitate, like what other problems happen in your life because of this problem. Um, and then the solution, and then you want to take them over. So you're not taking your whole sales page right. and bringing it over, but, but you want the messaging to match because you want the scent trail, you know, like whatever messaging you're selling them there, if they go to the sales page and it's a whole different messaging, you're going to lose the person. So you're going to take some of that messaging from your sales page and boil that down into like a 90 minute summary of your sales messaging. Okay. So then, yeah, you, you come up with that script um, and then you're going to have your different intros, outros, and then you're going to have your three different styles. You got your talking head, you got your BSL, you got your doodle and voila, you got, Perfect. you got nine, nine different creatives. And, and here's another thing, you know, don't start with nine, exactly. you start with, <laughs> start with the one and then get that up. And while that one, while you're waiting for the results to come in from that one, create number two, get that one up. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to create all nine on the, on the first get. -through. And you could do one that, you know, maybe you, you talk into the monitor or something cause you've got a script and maybe you've got a, you you use your webcam literally. And you have one of those online uh, teleprompters or something. You wrote up a script or, or maybe you've got a script that you're kind of, you, you know, you can do chunks of people think they have to record mm -hmm. it all at once. You don't. A lot of the YouTubers, like you talk, I like that example for script because a lot of the YouTube creators, okay. There are people you, you, you might they have my, I have a million subscribers or two million subscribers. A lot of times these guys are using scripts. They're reading it just like somebody at the new, when you watch the news channel, right? Or CNN or Fox news or, or MSNBC, they, they're using scripts every time. A lot of the YouTubers, they might do part of it and they'll cut and they'll do another section of it and they'll do another section, but they just edit it all back together. And it just, right. they're not it doing looks anything. like one smooth take, but they were doing it like eight to 12 seconds at a time. Yeah, exactly. So you could do that and then you could literally go to Fiverr or Elance or Upwork, I guess, and then find somebody to turn that into something else. And so there's, there's, there's other ways to do it too, just to get it started. Maybe it's in front of a whiteboard, but okay. I like that.